Now those showers is your weather and traffic every 10 minutes. How long are they supposed to stick around, Damon? It, it looks like mainly this morning and, okay. uh, and mainly for the next several hours. Now we're, we're going to see some spotty showers later this morning too, but you know, for the most part, I think we're going to clear out uh, rainfall wise uh, early this afternoon and the sky should clear out pretty nicely later on tonight. And then will the we, temperatures drop. Yeah, will we get that cold air tonight? Yeah, well, the, it's, it'll start filtering in tonight, but you're going to okay. feel it <laughs> tomorrow morning. Take a look at this. Uh, we're still in hurricane season, and with that in mind, the Gulf is looking good. The Caribbean is nice and quiet. Out in the Atlantic, everything is good as well, except this area of low pressure that the National Hurricane Center is giving a 20% chance to develop into a tropical system in the next two to five days. So we're going to watch this very closely as it continues to move in a kind of a north northeasterly direction. Probably going to be uh, picked up by that frontal boundary that's making its way across our area right now. And I don't, I'm not expecting anything to happen from that system. Let me show you the headlines for today. This is what I'm expecting uh, for the most part. The cold front bringing scattered rain today, and it already is doing that. Also bringing some breezy conditions tonight. Sunny and cooler air will be with us tomorrow. Another cold front is going to be moving through on Saturday night, but it's not going to bring us any rainfall, just kind of a reinforcing shot of some cool air. And there it is uh, back across uh, the central Mississippi Valley. While here across southeast Louisiana, the frontal boundary that's bringing us uh, some instability and some rainfall as well. Now, it's not much rainfall. A lot of it is uh, dissipating as it makes its way through. Much of it isn't even making it to the ground because we've got a dry layer that's just above us that uh, I think over the next several hours might get a little bit saturated. We may see a little more uh, activity later this morning before it ends uh, uh, by you know noontime, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Most of the rainfall, as you can see, off of Terrebonne Parish. A lot of it is moving to the southeast right now. Some light rainfall across parts of Metairie and Kenner in the uptown, downtown area as well. Over towards Chalmette and Algiers, Wagaman, Kenner seeing some of that light rainfall. It's starting to move into uh, parts of East New Orleans this morning as well. And if you're headed out on I-10, I-12, 55 or 59, you know, hold on to the steer. We'll be very careful. Some slippery conditions out there as this rain moves uh, southeasterly across parts of the North Shore right now, headed towards uh, the Lake Pops Train Causeway as well. If you're Making plans for Saturday for the uh, Southeastern Lions football game. I think you're going to have a great day. It's 71 is the afternoon high there, so some breezy and sunny conditions. If you're headed towards Baton Rouge for the Southern game on Saturday night, things are looking good for you as well. For the LSU game, some great conditions. Uh, tailgating weather is going to be near picture perfect. Your afternoon highs there will be in the upper 60s, maybe the low 70s. And here's a look at the forecast model showing you the, what I'm expecting in terms of rainfall for the rest of the day today and into tomorrow. Some great conditions and some sunny skies. In fact, here's your seven-day forecast, and I think after today, you're going to really enjoy the weather. Just be ready with the jacket. Now with more weather and traffic every 10 minutes, here is Sue.